Our world is currently witnessing an explosion of mega projects, which on top of being engineering marvels, have evolved to become major tourist attractions. Whether it's contemporary meta theatre, mimicking actual pieces of art, smart buildings that respond dynamically to their surroundings, or even skyscrapers reaching for new record heights, there are plenty of impressive mega projects out there to see. But even these are merely scratching the surface of the extreme mega project growth that will happen over the next decade. In this video, we have compiled a list of 10 marvellous modern mega projects that don't hold a candle to showing off. And if you are a movie lover, keep watching as we have included a building that was once vandalised by Tom Cruise. And now, let the adventure begin! Foundation Louis Vuitton Paris France you heard that right. We are talking about the luxury brand Louis Vuitton, but this time it's not much about $1 million couture bags and fashion shows, but rather about the foundation Louis Vuitton. Nestled amongst lush woodland in Paris's Bois de Bologna, the eye-catching building is constructed from an outstanding 3,600 glass panels and 19,000 concrete counterparts. Inside, you'll find a total of 11 galleries housing temporary exhibitions with works by iconic iconic artists including Christian Boltanski, Gerard Richter, Alberto Giacometti, Olafur Eliasson and Bertrand Lavier. Themed exhibitions are regularly on offer as well as two annual events celebrating modern art and contemporary art. An auditorium with 350 seat capacity provides a place to discover contemporary artists and musicians hosting concerts, classes and lectures. Young audiences have not been forgotten with storytelling microtours, discovery trails and age appropriate workshops. Don't miss the three terraces at the top of the ship offering untrammeled views of the district of La Defense, the Bois de Bologna Park and the Eiffel Tower. Sydney Opera House, Sydney, Australia A masterpiece of architecture, the Sydney Opera House is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the world's most famous mega projects in the world. Located on the banks of Sydney Harbour, it is one of the indisputable masterpieces of human ingenuity, not only in the 20th century, but in the history of humankind. You can take a photo on the steps of the Opera House, explore its majestic exterior and splendid interior on daily tours, and enjoy performances held under its iconic iconic white sails. The Sydney Opera House hosts over 1,600 performances annually, including opera, ballet, dance, music, theatre, comedy, children's shows and much more. After attending the shows, you dine at the Opera Kitchen and Benelong Restaurant or enjoy pre-show drinks at the Opera Bar. Petronas Towers, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia Standing at 451.9 metres high, Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur city centre is the tallest twin skyscraper in the world and a popular tourist attraction. Constructed to reflect Malaysia's ambition as a global player, the tower's facade is made up of steel and glass with Islamic inscriptions and art to celebrate the country's main religion. Immerse yourself into discovery at the observation deck on the 86th floor of the Twin Towers Stand above the clouds as you catch a close-up glimpse of the pyramidal structure of the towers while diving into state-of-the-art exhibits and digital displays about the history of the building. On the 41st and 42nd floors is the double-decker sky bridge connecting the two towers, which is also the highest two-story bridge in the world. Here, you'll get amazing views of Kuala Lumpur City as well as looking straight down to the ground via the glass as you cross. If shopping is your thing, don't forget to pass by the Surya KLC shopping complex. Located at the base of the tower, there are 200 upscale shopping stalls, restaurants and a movie theatre. Lotus Temple, New Delhi, India Christened the 20th century Taj Mahal, Lotus Temple is one of the best modern times architectural marvels in India. Located in New Delhi, it is a famous tourist attraction in the city, thanks to its 27 marble petals that form clusters to look like flower petals. Unlike other places of worship, which usually have an idol of a deity worshippers pray to, Lotus Temple follows the Baha'i faith, belief and principle in the oneness of God, the oneness of religion, 
customs and the oneness of mankind. As such, people of all races and religions can visit the temple as it is a place to worship the creator of the universe and not a particular deity. The temple is surrounded by nine ponds and gardens covering an area of 26 acres which provide plenty of space to meditate and reconnect with nature. There is also an information center inside the complex which houses paintings explaining the unity of all religions. While here, don't forget to attend classes about humanity, peace, affection, truth and courage which are regular fixtures at the temple. The Dancing House, Prague, Czech Republic, easily one of Prague's most recognizable buildings. The Dancing House is a popular tourist attraction due to its unique deconstructive architecture of interesting shapes and confusing elements. Located on the Rashin Embankment in Prague, it was the first building in the world to be rendered in 3D rather than 2D. Its unusual undulating shape and crumbling illusion resemble a pair of dancers, ultimately earning it the nickname Fred and Ginger. After the famous duo dancers Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers. The dancing house features nine above ground floors and two below ground floors and inside you'll find home and office spaces, a luxury hotel and an upscale French restaurant, Ginger and Fred. The view from the building's top is out of this world. Here you can catch amazing views of Old Town, Lesser Town, the castle and other surrounding areas. The Shard, London, UK Throwing shade most unapologetically over London, the Shard is one imposing, attention-grabbing beauty on London's skyline, standing 306 metres tall. It is the tallest building in the UK and Western Europe and ranked as the fourth tallest building in Europe. Since it is inspired by a shard of glass, it's only natural that the Shard's facade is covered by glass, 11,000 glass panels to be precise. To put it into perspective, the glass panels cover a total area of 56,000 square meters, which is the equivalent of eight football pitches. The first must-do when visiting the Shard is to hit the viewing platforms. Taking up the 68th, 69th and 72nd floors, you'll get amazing views of the city as well as discover London's past, present and future at the indoor viewing gallery and interactive multimedia channels. If you're planning on popping the question, the Shard's open-air sky deck on the 72nd floor has seen its fair share of proposals and even even offers a proposal package. If your head of height is complemented by a healthy appetite, the Shad is the perfect dining spot in London. On the 31st, 32nd and 33rd floors, you'll find the New York Grill-inspired Obliques restaurant, Hutong Chinese restaurant and the contemporary Aqua Shad. If it is the happy highs you are after, head further upstairs to the 52nd floor for some of the highest drinks in London. Eiffel Tower Paris France Locally known as La Torre Eiffel, the Eiffel Tower is one of the world's most recognizable landmarks. The tower was initially designed as the centerpiece of the 1889 World's Fair in Paris to commemorate the centennial of the French Revolution and display the country's modern mechanical capabilities on a world stage. 133 years after its inauguration, it is Paris's most popular and most visited tourist attraction, receiving thousands of visitors every day. The Eiffel Tower is composed of three levels, with the first floor hosting museum exhibits, changing exhibitions, souvenir shops, restaurants and a glass floor. The second floor is largely a dining and shopping area, although there's also an observation area. The summit is primarily an observation area that is 276 meters 905 feet above the ground, making it the highest observation deck in Europe. The top floor is split across two levels and you'll also find a champagne pain bar and a recreation of Gustave Eiffel's office. Louvre Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates Touted as the first universal museum in the Arab world, the iconic Louvre Abu Dhabi is a magnet for tourists and the vintage definition of go big or go home. Situated on the lagoon island of Sadiat, the museum's roof weighs more than the Great Eiffel Tower itself, with the entire Louvre Abu Dhabi museum complex covering a jaw-breaking 90,000 square meters. The centerpiece of Nouvelle's vision is a huge silvery dome appearing to float above the museum city. It features a total of seven 
7,850 stars repeated at various angles and sizes in eight different layers, creating an enchanting effect inside the museum as the sun passes above. Inside there is a temporary gallery and a permanent gallery, which are a result of collaboration between the Louvre Dubai and notable French museums including the famous Musée de Louvre, Saint Pompidou and Musée d'Orsay. Harper Concert Hall, Reykjavik, Iceland Inspired by the Northern Lights and dramatic Icelandic scenery, the Harper Concert Hall is an iconic sculpture in its own right. Situated with a clear view of the sea and the mountains surrounding Reykjavik, this huge gleaming structure features large geometric windows that change colour with the light of day. On top of its breathtaking beauty, the Harper Concert Hall is also highly functional. It is home to the Iceland Symphony Orchestra and the Icelandic Opera, and it's not uncommon to come across performers wandering the halls as they prepare for performances. If you happen to visit Harper in the evenings, be sure to visit the Collar Browting restaurant on the top floor and enjoy delicious Italian food against dropping views over downtown Reykjavik. Burj Khalifa Dubai If record-breaking was a person, their name would be Burj Khalifa. Not only is it the tallest building in the world, but also home to the highest occupied floor in the world. So tall is the building that the sun sets for several minutes on the top floor. Its record-breaking specs aside, the Burj has made international headlines for other quirky facts, with the most popular one occurring in 2010, when Tom Cruise vandalised the building during the filming of Mission Impossible 4 by etching Katie Holmes name into the spear. One of the biggest tourist attractions of the building is its two observatory decks located on the 124th floor and the 148th floor. Respectively, they give you a stellar, uninterrupted view of the city skyline and beyond. You can also visually explore the world below you via the high-powered state-of-the-art telescopes. Virtually fly over Dubai as well preserve memories of your visit using green screen photography. And if you happen to be visiting with your little ones, consider enrolling them in educational programs and classes at the top observation deck. A visit to Burj Khalifa is incomplete without visiting Atmosphere. Located on level 122, it is the world's tallest restaurant and here you'll enjoy an array of gastronomical wonders while enjoying breathtaking views of the Arabian Gulf. On your way out, be sure to catch a glimpse of the dazzling Dubai Fountain, which is the tallest performing fountain in the world, as well as the beautiful Burj Park with its art fixtures and wide walkways. Which of these marvellous mega projects did you love most? Have you ever visited any of them? And if so, what was your experience? Comment below and we will be happy to read your comments.